travel with us on an exotic adventure to Santa Catalina Island as we welcome guest host Amanda Martin when she braves the exhilarating heights of the popular Zipline Eco Tour. And be there when she takes the plunge off Catalina's pristine shores for some spectacular snorkeling on this edition of Out and About. If you were going to choose an island in Southern California area, where would you go? I think that's a trick question, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously Catalina. I mean, we have so much going for us here, and we're really the only uh, populated, uh, full-time populated island in, uh, in this whole chain of, of islands here. And we have a ton of experiences. Uh, you know, we have the casino building that's just an iconic uh, wonder. We have the oldest golf course west of the Mississippi here that uh, most people don't know about. It's a nine-hole course that was built in 1892. We have terrific hiking, biking, and the whole island experience is very unique. It's nothing like you'll find on the mainland in Southern California. Santa Catalina Island is the destination of choice for a special guest host, Amanda Martin, who bravely volunteers to embark on the island's newest and most thrilling attraction. Our first stop is the Zipline Eco Tour, a new attraction that is the brainchild of the Catalina Island Company. Opening earlier this year, the Zipline offers participants an unforgettable ride through Catalina's lush landscape, enabling them the thrill of soaring above the treetops by way of five separate Ziplines encompassing 3,600 feet. Uh, this is the Zipline on Catalina Island. We just opened up in April. We are going to be zipping 3,671 feet altogether, and it is a two-hour experience. It is an eco-tour as well, so we're going to be talking about the ecology, being the plant life, the animal life, and then some history about Catalina Island, which is a lot of fun. It is a very exhilarating experience. You're going to be going about 40 miles an hour as well at some points. <laughs> 40 miles an hour zipping along. Uh, what preparation is needed? Uh, you're going to be getting harnessed up down here at our base camp. Once we do that, we're going to give you a little orientation about everything to make sure we understand about all the body positions that we use, being the hand signals and also some of the different uh, types of retrievals that we might have to do while you're up on the zipline course. Once we do that, we take you on a bus to 500 feet above sea level and then we start zipping, baby, whether you like it or not. Before you guys do take that nice confident step off the line, um, we do go over what we call a 4x4 safety check. And what we're doing is uh, squeezing each and every single carabiner here. One, two, three. Our zip guides, Justin and Elena, offer safety instructions and a 20-minute orientation. The training session encompasses an equipment safety check and a general rundown of the mechanics of riding a zip line. Our cable is uh, galvanized steel, which is awesome. Uh, it can hold 26,000 pounds, which is unbelievable. I don't know anybody who weighs that much. No one does. You could actually technically zip a bus down our zip line and it would be okay. And on, to top it off, we don't zip on one cable, we actually zip on two of them. Oh, that's, you know, that's a little trick I didn't know about. Yes, we actually, uh, everything here, it has a backup system. And so we, or we call a belay system on our zip line. So everything has a backup to the backup, almost to the backup out here, which is a lot of fun. Uh, this one being our first line is our slowest and shortest. So be prepared for some. The group receives final instructions on platform number one as we welcome our stunt person, Amanda Martin. You know, she's been looking forward to this uh, for some time, and she's just standing there so proud and, and happy and just eager, and uh, I think a lot of other people are too. 
Oh, of course, out of the 25,000 people we have zipped, everyone is eager. Everyone has a different range of emotions. We go from absolutely terrified, to really excited, which is a lot of fun. And overall, everyone has a great time when they get down. Are those kind of like a roller coaster emotions? Uh, somewhat a little bit. You have some roller coaster motions, but with that being said, our zip line does not ride like a roller coaster. Our zip line, the best analogy we have is it's exactly like a slide. Instead of being underneath you, it's right above you. So it's a very smooth experience that you're going to be uh, experiencing. Uh, during this experience, uh, what are some of the views uh, like? I imagine a lot of the ocean and stuff. Oh yes, you get uh, the ocean and you're going to be zipping in Descanso Canyon. So therefore you're going to be getting a lot of uh, the greenery of the island, which is beautiful. Uh, it's a view that many people do not get on this island. The only way you can get it is if you go zip lining. It's beautiful up there. It's stunning. So it's your first time zipping? Yeah. Oh, nice. You have fun. Amanda receives her final inspection from Elena, who double and triple checks the harness and the cables that will carry her safely across the canyon. The first step is the hardest one, and Amanda realizes that once she takes it, there is no turning back. So one, two, three, go forward! Woo! The group reacted like every other group would react, scared in the beginning, but flawless at the end. They all survived, excited, the adrenaline was flowing. That's how it goes every time. You got it, you got what is it, it like you for you personally it. to be uh, handling all of this? Oh, it's very special for me. It's, 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 it's a treat. Every day you get to deal with people that have emotions from this way, and then by the end of the day, they, they're pros at, uh, at ziplining. So it's, Turning their emotions to another emotion is it's a treat for all the guys here. That's why we love our job. So you're almost part psychiatrist here. It is definitely therapy. Towards the, Number three, we let them know that this is therapy, and it's uh, definitely a natural therapy for everyone. And you would invite people to come to do this? Oh, every day. Spread the word. It's a lot of fun. Well, I was expecting to be absolutely terrified the entire way through since I'm actually terrified of heights, and I don't normally tell people that. I was willing to do it because, of course, me being an adventurer, I'm always looking to get over whatever fear I might have, and believe it or not, I wasn't afraid for the entire thing. It was, it was just an adrenaline rush. It was amazing. I thought I saw a little glimpse of apprehension, but I could have been wrong in the very beginning. <laughs> Before I made the first jump, yeah. yes. Yeah. But as soon as my feet left that platform, I felt the cable actually grab me and I wasn't afraid. I have to commend you on your scream. It was wonderful. <laughs> I've been known for my scream. <laughs> what are some of the reactions that you get from people, Justin? Oh, uh, the reactions, the shaking legs, the... Uh... Their nervousness and then the adrenaline rush, you can just see it flowing right through their eyes. <laughs> Clinching onto the handles. Just more excitement, a lot of excitement. Uh, I did not see any bodies lying around here, so I guess it must be pretty safe. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. We are actually one of the safest in the world. And we've opened for six months, like I mentioned, and we have zipped over 25,000 people so far. 25,000 people? Yes, sir. We're one of the busiest in the United States of America as well. The post-zip activities include a victory descent down the long wooden stairs that bring us right back where we started. Zipline alumni can savor their thrilling moment in the air with the souvenir snapshot of their flight that is available at the gift shop. 
It is a genuine reminder of a pure adrenaline rush and the exhilaration that participants experience on this spectacular island attraction. Now, I think that you probably have zipped, am I right? Oh, more times than I can count. Maybe over 400 times. Uh, what's the experience been like for you personally? Absolutely unbelievable. Zip lining here on this island has been stunning. Uh, the work experience I've had out here is amazing. And just every time I get to go, even though I've done it over 400 times, I get excited every single time. I love every minute of it. Boy, you're, you're hooked on the line. I am, I am hooked on the line, very much so. Oh, what a rush. I absolutely love this. <laughs> this has been quite a day. When we return, we'll continue the Catalina adventure with a snorkeling expedition off Lover's Cove. Stay with us as Amanda slips beneath the surface to encounter some spectacular views when Out and About continues.